smash that like button if you want to help this video go viral. Yo, what is up boys and girls? Today I'm finally bringing you that video that people have been asking for about how I found my new sensitivity on the advanced controls that they just released. All right, so first thing I need to mention is do not copy my sensitivity if you are not using control freaks like I do because having a control freak as tall as mine essentially lets you have a sensitivity twice as fast as you normally would while still being able to control it. If you try to copy my sensitivity without a control freak, you'll never be able to control it and you'll just get frustrated. So first step, you go into creative mode, you set up your uh, spawn pad, your guns that you wanna be good with and uh, you get one of these things called a sentry. You're gonna put the sentry down and uh, the settings, you want it to have full health, full shield, respawn in two seconds. You just leave it at those settings and uh, you go into my island tools and you give everybody 10,000 health and shields. So max health, you put it at 10,000, 10,000. That way you don't keep dying to the bot and uh, you start the match. So I'm going to show you guys what I did the day the update dropped, right? I went into settings. I turned advanced options on. I immediately went to copy from legacy. This copies your old sensitivity to the new one. So this is what my old sensitivity would transfer over to. 80, 67%, 34, 28. And uh, you need to immediately also turn all the boosts down to zero. And then look input curve. Exponential is a lot easier to control. But if you want to have aim as good as mine, you have to be on linear. Linear is going to get you the most consistent aim. But it's also really, really hard to get the hang of it. So if you're not, you know, if you're not down to practice or you just don't have time to put in a lot of hours into creative mode to practice, then it's okay to stick with exponential. Just know that you could have better aim on linear if you do eventually switch over. Okay, so this is my original settings day one. This is what I had. So immediately I was like, this is way too fast. It feels really weird and uh, I didn't like it. So what I did was I brought these down way, way down. But what I should have originally done is instead go into my dead zones and bring them way up. So what I ended up doing was bringing these to 0.16 from 0 0.07, I think. That way, I could stick with the original 80, whatever it was. Okay, so you're going to get the guns. So what I do is, I pretty much pretend that I'm in a real game scenario, and I'm trying to fight this robot, like if it was an actual person. So right now, my sensitivity is just way too high. I can feel that I, I am over overlooking the left and right. So I'm going to bring my X down. I'm going to bring it down to 70 and 60. I like to have a... Y that's slower than the X. You don't have to do this. If you don't want to, it's up to you. So now this is a little bit better. My edits feel clean. So then what you just do is you pretty much pretend you're having a box fight with this robot. Okay? So you see when I when I uh, when I go to zoom in on him, I'm like I'm not even hitting headshots at all. I miss two shots and then I hit one body shot for a hundred. And that's not good. You need to be getting better than that. So why is that? It's because my dead zones are too high. So what I did was, I started from 16, and I just went down one by one. So again, my aim is still not as good as it needs to be on this sensitivity. Yeah, I hit a couple okay shots, but I'm trying to hit 200s every single time. Especially when the bot isn't moving, it's a stationary target. So we're just going to keep coming down. One by one. You don't have to go one by one, but you might skip the correct sensitivity if you go more than one by one. So now I can tell that I'm, I'm getting closer because as soon as I aim in, it's body shot every single time. Before I was missing by a lot, right? But now I'm at least hitting them every shot, 100. So I'm gonna keep going down until I can control it more and more and more. Down to 13. Okay, again, we're getting better and better, right? Every single shot I take is starting to get closer and closer. Now I'm consistently hitting right in the middle every single shot. 180, 130. All right, so that feels pretty good right there. But it still feels like I'm too high on the X. When I when I go to aim in, sometimes I go a little bit too far to the left. That's because I'm too high on the X. So we're gonna bring it down 10%. And now I can pretty much feel like I'm getting so close. It feels way better than when I first started. Every single shot is nice and clean. And there's like the first 200, the first clean 200 I've hit, I think. And there's a second clean 200 I've hit. So you see how close I am now? So at this point, I feel comfortable with my aim. And uh, I feel like my shotguns are very good. So now we need to get the AR out and practice that. Okay, so this is way too fast. Like I am, I'm flicking all over the place. I'm not even getting close to the, the player when I first zoom in. Uh, that's because 
I don't know why my original sensitivity was so high on ADS. Like it's not that high obviously, but compared to what I'm at right now, which is 14, it's very high. So still, way too high. I'm not I'm not able to, to control it. So you gotta keep going down, or you could raise your dead zone. If you raise your dead zone, it makes your builds harder. That's why I prefer a lower dead zone than to just put it up. But it's all preference. If you want to, go ahead and raise your dead zone. So I'm gonna go down by 10% because I already know where my sensitivity is supposed to be. So now I'm getting closer. You see uh, how when I aim in, I'm getting closer to the head, but it's still a little bit too far. Like like uh, when I try to adjust it, I, I end up over correcting. Like you see when I, when I try to go left and right, it just swings off way too far to the right and way too far to the left like that because it's still too high for me. So we're just gonna keep going down. I'm gonna go down to 10. And now you guys can tell that uh, it's too slow. When I try to correct to it, it, uh, it takes me a long time to get it onto the head. And I should be able to do it way faster than that. Especially on a target that's sitting still. Because on a target that's moving, it's even harder. So what you should be able to do is just immediately go snap, 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 snap. So that tells me that it's too low. So now we go up 12, 12. So again, you see where I ended up with my marker? So I'm shooting this guy, right? Right in the head, 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 head. And I go over here. Right here I should already be on his head, but I ended up a little bit to the left and down because my sensitivity is still too slow and I overcorrect. I don't overcorrect, but I let go early because I'm worried that I'm going to overcorrect. So I'm gonna go up again another 2%. And now, this is my optimal sensitivity. I can snap from target to target very easily without uh, screwing it up. There you have it. That's how I found my sensitivity eventually. So in my, my opinion, you wanna find your, uh, I recommend probably AR aim first because uh, that's the easiest to find, I think. And once you find that, then you start going to your build sensitivity. But yeah, that's how I found my sensitivity. I know I make it seem pretty easy, but it's actually very hard. It took me like at least 20 hours of messing with this to figure it out. The reason I it looks so easy is because I already knew exactly where I was headed to, but I had to go all the way up to like, I, I tried from everything from 100 all the way down to like the 20s and just so many different combinations. I even started messing with the boosts and the dampening time to see if it helps. And the most important thing though is the dead zone. If you feel that you can't control it, put your dead zone up really, really high if you have to and then start bringing it down until you feel you find the right spot. And that's it. So let me know if you guys are able to find your sensitivities with this. Uh, let me know what kind of videos you wanna see more of and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.